good morning you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name's macy i'm a first year law student and today i'm just gonna take you along on a day in my life so i just got ready for work i work full time it's supposed to be around 32 hours a week but this week we're probably already at about 40 because i worked nine hours yesterday you guys it was insane um i work at a doctor's office and sometimes things just happen and you have to see more people than you even have room for so yeah it was a long day but it was good that means my paycheck is gonna be great let me show you what i'm wearing all right not the best lighting here's my outfit um these pants are the stevie pant from old navy my shirt is from TJ Maxx. It was only $2 on clearance, you guys. Talk about a deal. And I don't know, these shoes are probably from Walmart or something. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I just talked about this watch. It's a knockoff Apple watch. It tracks your steps, your sleep, your heart rate. Um, it will notify you of when your menstrual cycle is gonna start. It can find your phone and it was like 30 bucks. They have like 10 different colors. So I will put my link in the description if you're interested in buying it. I love it. I have tiny wrists though. So I had to put a little piece of Velcro on it there. So I'm not supposed to have to work until 9.45 today, but we have a patient coming in at 9 30 and i have to be there 15 minutes early to like call patients back and that kind of thing so that means i have about 20 minutes before i have to leave so i'm going to go do a little bit of homework not that much probably just like i don't know five pages of reading and then we'll go to work and i work until five tonight i actually get to get off at five tonight because um the doctor is doing like a house call for an elderly patient at 5 15 so that means we can't have any patients staying late so i get to come straight home and catch up on homework because i haven't had a chance to work on any this week so <laughs> I'm home from work now, finally at a decent time. Like, it's still light out. It's amazing. Um, it's 5.30. Zach gets off work right now. He has a fire meeting tonight. So, I'm on my own for a few hours, which means I'll have plenty of time to catch up on homework. I have no excuses tonight. Um, so, I have some frozen boneless, skinless chicken, br chicken, not chicken breast, chicken thighs in the air fryer i'm hoping that they'll be done before he has to go to work that way work go to the fire meeting that way he can eat before he goes because he won't be home until really late and i'm sure he's hungry so i'm gonna do that i'm probably gonna pop a couple potatoes in the microwave and sit here and do some reading while that's cooking All right, so it's 7.30 now. Um, I have taken this torts quiz three times and still have not passed. 
all my other quizzes for my other classes, there's only one quiz per class, I passed on the first try. And this one, I don't know what is up. I just cannot pass it. It, it doesn't even seem hard, but apparently I'm not getting it. So now I'm gonna type up my contracts notes that I just got done reading a little bit ago. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I didn't type up my torts notes, so I need to do that and my definitions. I did the quiz and I did not pass. So I'm gonna have to do it again. That's okay. Good morning, you guys, or I guess I should say good afternoon. I think it's like just about noon. My face is looking disgusting. I'm starting to get maskney. My county in California is starting to open up, so I'm hoping that's good news. We've only had like maybe 10 new cases a day, so that's good. I had kind of a lazy start to my day. Um, I woke up at 7.30 and I was like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna like take it easy this morning. It was a very long week. The time change has me so messed up. Um, so I just thought I would kind of relax a bit this morning and then get up and do homework and be productive. Well, I decided to start catching up on Grace from Lipstick and Latte's vlogs because while she was studying for the bar, she wasn't really on much. So I kind of stopped checking in every single day to see if she had a new upload. And then I got too busy and I had like six videos to catch up on and hers are always like 20 minutes. So before I knew it, it was 10 o'clock. And then by the time I finished the last video I was on, it was 10.30. And now I've been trying to find new music for my videos. And I kind of just got lost in that whole rabbit hole. <laughs> so now it's noon. I haven't eaten anything. And I really need to eat something. But, um, yeah, I have a lot to do. Zach is at the Fire Academy all day. So... I'm gonna try to do as much homework as I can until he gets home, then we'll probably have dinner together. The Klein dog nap. Are you gonna have a sleepover with us? Is that a yummy treat? You're so cute. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> So in one of my recent vlogs, I shared that I had been taking my torts quiz and I had took it three times and still had not passed when all my other ones I passed on the first try. So um, I just wanted to share that I am doing really well so far. Um, I've only missed one. I think I got the first one right. I forgot to check it. Um, so I just wanted to share that... I'm finally understanding all of the questions after watching the fourth video of Professor Mary on torts. Um, this was the title of the last video that I watched and I think I finally have all the information that I need. Um, so I just wanted to share on here that when you click an answer instead of, I literally just now found this out on this attempt, um, you don't have to go to next. You can check it right here. So you don't have to wait until you're done to see if you got the answer right. 
So um, I think that's really great because you can jot down little notes for ones that you get wrong. It'll give you like a little explanation to it. So if you were struggling like me, here's a little tip. So I just made dinner. I baked some boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and I have half of an artichoke, surprisingly. I didn't make myself any potatoes, which if you know me, that's my very favorite food. Um, so I'm gonna eat this while I watch a couple of Lexus modules, and I have someone hoping to get some food. What are you doing, Gingy Doodle? What are you doing? Are you hoping that I drop something for you? I don't think so. So the Lexus modules, um, I only have them for my intro to law class. And basically they're just really like basic how to's on using Lexus and researching. And then um, periodically little quizzes will pop up for you to answer one or two questions every couple of minutes, just to make sure you're interacting with it correctly behind the creation of a statute is sometimes hard to grasp. Finding a controlling statute makes your legal research and analysis easier. A controlling statute is a law that applies to your jurisdiction that will be relied upon when settling a dispute between parties. So here's one of the little mini quizzes that pops up. You have the ability to navigate through code materials either by browsing the table of contents of the code or by running a keyword search through all sections of the code. So it's just to make sure you're like paying attention to what it's talking about. Viewing so section 351. You'll do a couple and then um, you'll watch it for a couple minutes and then it'll give you a couple of questions. And then you watch for a couple minutes and answer a couple of questions. And then at the end, you usually answer one or two as well.